ni kwa kwa wastahili katika jina la Yesu tunaomba tushukuru amen tasoma neno la Bwana katika Saburi 87 The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Yaani Bwana anapenda malango ya Zayuni saidi ya makao yote ya Yakobo. Bwana asifiwe. Ah, hiyo ni sababu moja ambayo inatupasa sisi ama watu wa Mungu kutokosa katika nyumba ya Bwana Bwana asifiwe kwa kuwa kama Mungu wetu anapendeswa sana na malango ya Zayuni hata nasi wale ambao wameitanishwa na jina lake tunastahili pia kuwa tunapendeswa sana na malango ya Zayuni ni kwa kuwa mahali pale kuna shughuli ambazo sinatendeka ni shughuli ambazo ni za kumtukuza Bwana ni shughuli ambazo za kukupisha jina la Bwana liinuliwe jina la Bwana litukuzwe Bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo tukiwa mahali hapa tujue ya kwamba tuko mahali ambapo Mungu anapenda zaidi Bwana anayapenda malango ya sayuni kuliko maskani zote za Yakobo Bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo mahali ambapo tunaishi huko manyumbani mambo ni mingi ambayo inakumba watu mahali pale lakini tunajua mahali hapa ni kibilio watu wanaingia mahali hapa wakiwa na mambo tofauti tofauti inayowasonga lakini wanatoka mahali hapa wakiwa wamewekwa huru wakiwa wamekombolewa wakiwa wameona mkono wa Bwana Haleluya. Tusome Psalms 149 verse 2. Let them praise his name. Sorry. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Israel, let, let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Israeli na mfurahie yeye aliyemfanya, Bwana wa Zayuni, wamshangilie mfalme wao. Bwana asifiwe. Tukiwa mahali hapa, hakuna uh, hofu, Bwana asifiwe. Ni kwa sababu tuko mahali ambapo uwepo wa Bwana yuko. Na neno la Bwana linasema in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. Kwa hivyo mahali hapa tunaingia tunajazwa na furaha. Ni kwa sababu ni mahali ambapo pako na ukamilifu. Bwana asifiwe. Ni mahali ambapo pame pameondeniwa kuwa na ushindi wa watu wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Tunakubaliwa kushindwa tukiwa na huko nje lakini tukifika mahali hapa tunapokea ushindi tunapokea nguvu za ushindi katika maisha yetu kwa hivyo hatupaswi kukosa kuwa mahali kama hapa verse 3 nasema let them praise his name in the dance let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp na walisifu jina lake kwa kucheza na matari na kinumbi wamwimbie bwana asifiwe amen Bibi natuambia kwamba Bwana anaishi katikati ya sifa za watu wake. Kwa hivyo wakati tuko kwenye uwepo wa Bwana, wakati tunamwimbia Bwana, tunamchezea Bwana, Bwana anafurahishwa nasi na anatutendea sawa sawa na mapenzi yake. Misigo misito inatuondokea. Bwana asifiwe. Tukiendelea kabisa verse 4 by the for the Lord take pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with the salvation. Kwa kuwa Bwana awaridhia watu wake. Bwana anawapamba wenye upole kwa wokovu. Let the saints be joyful in his glory. Let them sing aloud in their beds. Kwa kuwa Bwana awaridhia watu wake, 
wababa wenye upole kwa wokovu wataua na wamshangilia utukufu waipe kwa sauti kuu vitandani mwao bwana asifiwe tunaimishwa ya kwamba kama wateule tuwe watu wa kushangilia katika utukufu wa bwana tuko mahali ambapo panafaa mahali ambapo panastahili atuko peke yetu wakati tunafika mahali hapa Mungu yuko mahali hapa Yesu yuko mahali hapa Roho Mtakatifu yuko Maraika wametusingira tukiwa mahali hapa kwa hivyo tuko mahali ambapo panavaa kabisa Bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo kusanyiko la wateule atupaswi kuwa mbali na kusanyiko la wateule ni kwa sababu Bwana yuko mahali pale Tusome Psalms 20 verse 2 The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble the name of the Lord God of Jacob defend thee send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion Bwana akujibu siku ya dhiki jina la Mungu wa Yakobo likuinue akupelekea usada toka patakatifu pake na ukutegemeza toka Zion Yaani tuko mahali ambapo tunapokea nguvu kutoka kwa Bwana. We are being strengthened. Every time we appear before God, we receive new strength in our lives. We receive new helps in our lives. We are helped by our God. Mambo ambayo ambayo atungeyaweza sisi wenyewe wakati tunafika mahali wepo wa Bwana, tunapokea breakthrough, tunapokea ushindi. Bwana asifiwe. Ni watu wengi wamewahi shuhudia ya kwamba wakikosa wakimaliza sande moja au sande mbili bila kuwa katika nyumba ya Bwana mambo inakuwa magumu huko nje ni kwa sababu wamekuwa mbali na msaada wao wamekuwa mbali na mahali ambapo wanaweza pokea nguvu zao kwa hivyo tuko mahali ambapo panavaa sana hivyo ina ina ni jambo letu la kutia bidii kila wakati tujipate tukiwa ndani ya nyumba ya Bwana. Tusome maandiko katika Isaia chapter 30 verse 4. Wenye dhambi walio katika sayuni wanaogopa tetemeko limewashika wasio mcha Mungu ni nani kwetu sisi awezaye kukaa na moto ulao ni nani kwetu sisi awezaye kukaa na moto uteketezao milele Bwana asifiwe Tunaimishwa ya kwamba tukiwa katika nyumba ya Bwana hapo sio mahali pa kuwa na hofu wale ambao wanakuwa na hofu ni wale ambao ni wenye dhambi Bwana asifiwe wenye dhambi ndio hawana amani wakiwa katika ukuwepo wa Bwana lakini wateule wakiwa ah, bele ya Bwana wako na furaha wako na nguvu ni kwa sababu wanashughulikiwa na Bwana lakini wale ambao watu ambao wasio mcha Mungu wakiwa mbele ya Bwana kuna kuchomeka chomeka kwa sababu Mungu wetu ni 
mkoto ulao kwa hivyo hawana amani mpaka wa, wapatane na Mungu Bwana asifiwe Diposa tunaona wateule wakiwa katika nyumba ya Bwana wako na ujasiri wako na nguvu ni kwa sababu wako sawa sawa na Bwana Mungu wao lakini wale ambao hawajachuana na Bwana wako na uoga wanatetemeka ni kwa sababu uwepo wa Mungu mahali pale unasababisha wasiwe na amani mpaka wapatanishwe na Bwana Bwana asifiwe Ndiyo maana ni hatari kuwa nyumba ya Bwana na mtu awe anachompokea Bwana Yesu kuwa Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yake. Tusome Isaia 35 verse 10. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with his songs and a everlasting joy upon their heads they shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sigh shall flee away na hao waliokombolewa na Bwana watarudi watafika Zion wakiimba na furaha ya milele itakuwa juu ya vichwa vyao na watapata kicheko na furaha Usuni na kuhua sitakimbia Bwana asifiwe. Wakati tuko katika uwepo wa Bwana kuna mambo huwa inafanyika Bwana asifiwe. Maandiko yanasema wale ambao wamekombolewa na Bwana wakiwa katika zayuni wako na nyimbo wanaimbia Bwana wako na furaha wakiwa katika uwepo wa Bwana. Na hata kucheka Praise the Lord. Maria pa we can afford to laugh in the presence of the Lord. Lakini na huko kwingine wakati mwingine ni hatari hiyo kicheko akipatikana. Biblia inasema tukiwa mahali hapa usuri na kuugua sitakimbia. Kuna mambo ambayo hata atutaiombea in our lives. Mambo ambayo ni ya kuhusunisha ili inafanya watu wawe na usuni, ili inafanya watu wawe na na kuugua kutoa ile macho kama kilio ambacho akisikiki akitoki mambo kama hayo inatuondokea ni kwa sababu ya uwepo wa Bwana katika maisha yetu kwa hivyo we are to value the presence of God we are to value in the time we gather together in the name of the Lord bible says that uh, we are two or three and gathered in his name He is there he is always there with us na kwa mahali pale pamoja nasi ili atusaidie ili atupiganie ili atushindanie ni kwa sababu ni Mungu aliye mwaminifu tusome Isaia 51 verse 3 For the Lord shall convert Zion. He will convert all our waste places and will make a wilderness like Eden and a desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Maana Bwana amefariji Zayuni. Amepafariji mahali pake palipokuwa ukiwa. Amefanya jangwa lake kuwa kama bustani ya Edeni na nyika yake kama bustani ya Bwana. Furaha na kicheko sitaonekana ndani yake. Kushukuru na sauti ya kuiba. Bwana asifiwe. Tuko mali ambapo panavaa sana, ambapo tunapokea faraja. Kama hakuna faraja huko nje, mali hapa tunapokea faraja. Bwana anatuvarinji Bwana asifiwe tuko na yule ambaye anatuvarinji Mungu wetu baba yetu anesababisha tuwe na furaha kila wakati tuwe na moyo wa shukurani kila wakati Bwana asifiwe na tuwe na sauti za kumwibia Bwana kwa hivyo tukiwa mahali hapa Bwana anapendezwa nasi Mioyo yetu ikiwa imechangamuka 
ndani yake ni kwa sababu hata huko tu mbinguni mbinguni hakuna usuni bwana sijiwe mbinguni ni kuimba haleluya sana huko ni kumwabudu bwana bibi nasema ya kwamba wasaishirini na wanne kule tu mbinguni uinama chini kifundi fundi wa kimwabudu bwana kwa hivyo pia pamoja na malaika hata nasi hiyo ndio inatakiwa kuwa mtindo wetu tuseme maandiko na pombele kidogo fas 11 and 12 hii imerudiwa tena ilikuwa fas kwa chapter 35 fast 10 lakini imerudiwa katika chapter 51 verse 11 kuonyesha umuhimu kuonyesha ni, ni jambo ya kuzingatiwa bwana asifiwe therefore that indeed for the lord shall return and come with his singing unto Zion and the everlasting joy shall be upon their head they shall obtain gladness and in joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away now walio kompolewa na bwana watarejea watavika sayudi wakiimba furaha ya milele itakuwa juu ya vichwa vyao watapata shangwe na furaha huzuni na kuuua sitakimbia kwa hivyo kuna mambo ambayo inakuwa ni ya kupatikana katika nyumba ya Bwana Bibi inasema ya kwamba we shall obtain gladness and joy in the presence of the Lord kwa hivyo tukiwa mahali hapa kuna mambo ambayo ni ya dhamana sana tunayo yapokea katika maisha yetu Biblia kuna mali inasema the joy of the lord is my strength na tuna kila mmoja wetu anahitaji nguvu maisha nguvu ya kuendelea katika haya maisha ni kwa sababu wakati mwingi sio mambo ya hayakui favorable kuna wakati mambo inakuwa against you kwa hivyo tunahitaji the joy of the lord ambayo inatupatia nguvu ya kuendelea Fasto nasema I even I am that converted you Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die and of the son of man we shall be made as in grass Mimi nami mimi dimi niwafarijie wewe unani hata ukamwogopa mtu atakaye kufa na mwanadamu atakayefanywa kuwa kama majani Bwana Yesu asidhiwe tunahimizwa ya kuwa tusiwe watu wa kuogopa ni kwa sababu Mungu ndiye anayetu anayetuvariji sisi anatuambia tusiwe wa kuogopa wanadamu ambao ni watu ambao sio wa milele wanadamu wanakufa wanadamu wako na mwisho yule wa kuogopa ni Mungu peke yake ambaye ni Mungu wa milele na milele. Kwa hivyo tukiwa katika nyumba ya Bwana na maisha yetu tukiwa tumeisalimisha kwa Bwana. Tujue tu, kuna yule ambaye yako pamoja nasi anayetuvariji wakati wote na anayetuhimiza atuvai kuogopa akiwa pamoja nasi. Tusome Isaia 61 verse 1 to 3 Ni prophecy ya Isaia ilikuwa kuhusu roho wa Bwana juu ya Yesu Kristo yale mambo ambayo itafanyika na iliweza kufanyika na hata inaendelea hata nyakati hizi Biblia inasema the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he has sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of 
of the prison to them that are about to proclaim the acceptable ear of the Lord and the dear vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified Bona Sedire Tunaone ya kwamba katika Zayo mahali pale kuna divine exchange Biblia inasema ya kwamba watu wanapewa beauty instead of ashes oil of joy instead of mourning and garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness mahali hapa tunatakiwa kuingia tukiwa na moyo mmoja ya kwamba tunaenda kushughulikiwa na Bwana tunaenda kuhudumiwa na Bwana Bwana asifiwe wakati tunafanya yale ambayo yanatakikana mahali hapa tunakuwa beneficiaries kutoka kwa Bwana Bwana asifiwe ndio Daudi akasema the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob kwa hivyo ni mahali ambapo aliona panavaa tunamsikia Daudi akisema tena alifurahia alipoambiwa waelede katika nyumba ya Bwana anasema tena ni yeye kuwa bawabu katika nyumba ya Bwana kuliko kuishi mahali kwingine Bwana asifiwe anasema ante in the presence of the Lord is better than a thousand days spent elsewhere kwa hivyo in the presence of God Awezi ukalinganisha na tukiwa mahali kwingine. Kwa hivyo we are in the right place mahali ambapo panavaa sana. Bwana asifiwe. Tunaendelea kumalizia. Tusome Isaia chapter 62 verse 1. For Zion's sake I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. Kuachili ya Sayuni sita nyamasa, na kuachili ya Yerusalemu sita tulia. Hata haki yake itakapo tokea kama mwangasa, na ukovu wake kama taa iwakayo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mungu Baba anatuambia kwamba hata tulia kwa sababu ya watu wake. Hata tulia na hata nyamasa. Bwana asifiwe. Ni Mungu wa ni Mungu wa haki. Ni Mungu ambaye anaye tupigania. Ni Mungu aliye na uwezo. Kwa hivyo unapofika mahali ambapo wote wale wanakutana katika nyumba ya Bwana, unjua ukiwa mahali pale kuna yule Mungu ambaye anasema hata nyamaza ili akupiganie hata tulia ni kwa sababu ya maisha yako kwa hivyo hii maisha ujue sio yako binafsi hii maisha umepewa na Bwana na yuko pamoja na wewe na ametuaidia kuwa hata tuacha na hata hata tupungukia Anasema katika Isaia 43 hata wakati tunapitia kwenye maji mengi hata tuachilie kitusame hata achilie tupepwe na mawimbi na tunapopitia kwenye moto hata achilia biani ya moto the flames itutome ituteketeze ni kwa sababu ya uwepo wake pamoja nasi na njoo ya kwamba kila mtu anafurahia uwepo wa Bwana kila mtu anafurahia Mungu akiwa pamoja naye ni kwa sababu Biblia inasema he is a mighty warrior he is mighty to save and mighty to deliver huyo ndiye Mungu wetu wakati wote ambao tunao kuamini ah uh, turudi nyuma kidogo Isaia 28 verse 21 Bibi nasema for the Lord 
shall rise up as in Mount Perazim. He shall be wroth as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, a strange work, and bring to pass his act, a strange act. Maana kwa na taondoka kama vile katika mlima Perazim, atakadhapika kama vile katika bonde la Gibeon, apate kufanya kazi yake, kazi yake ya ajabu na kulitimiza tendo lake, tendo lake la ajabu. Biblia katika First Chronicles ni wakati ambao Daudi alikuwa anapigana na wafilisti Mungu alimpatia ushindi mkubwa kabisa ndipo hapa neno linasema ya kuwa kama vile alifanya wakati ule wa Daudi wakati alipigania Daudi hata wakati huu anatupigania for the Lord shall rise up in, as in Mount Perasi kama vile alifanya kule mlimo wa Perasi He shall be wroth as in the valley of Gibeon kama vile alifanya kwenye ule upande wa Gibeon that he may do his work a strange work bwana asifiwe Mungu ni Mungu ambaye matendo yake ni ya ajabu anainuka kututendea mambo ya ajabu anainuka kutupigania bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo tuendelee kumwamini huyu Mungu tuendelee kutafuta uso wake tuendelee kumkimbilia tuendelee kumtumikia ni kwa sababu hakuna mwingine aliye kama yeye ukiwa naye wewe ni zaidi ya mshidi ukiwa naye maisha yako yako salama familia iko salama bwana asifiwe mahali kama hapa ni mahali ambapo Suleiman alikuwa anaambia Mungu watu wake wale ambao wamehitanishwa na jina lake wakati ambao wanakusanyika waombe Bwana wanyenyekee watubu dhambi zao Bwana atawazikia kutoka juu mbinguni na ataponya hata nchi yao Bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo Bwana Yesu awese kubariki kila mmoja wetu siku ya leo na hata siku ambazo siko mbele zetu Tujue ya kwamba tuko pamoja na Bwana, Mungu yuko pamoja nasi. Na ametuahidi ya kwamba hata tuacha na hata tupungukia. Ningependa tuweze kusimama, tuweze kumalizia kwa neno la maombi, ndio tuweze kupasha vipande vya pili. Tuweze kuendelea. Mungu wetu na baba yetu katika jina la Yesu kuna kushukuru tuna kuabudu ni kwa sababu ya vile ulivyo baba wewe ni Mungu mkuu hakuna mwingine aliye kama wewe kwa kuokoa wewe ndio unayeokoa Jehova kwa kukomboa hakuna mwingine anaweza kuomboa kama wewe kwa kuponya hakuna mwingine anaweza ponya kama wewe Bwana wewe ni kila kitu kwetu baba wewe ni Jehova Jaire unakutana na mahitaji yetu yote you provide for your people by God you are Jehova Rafa thank you our Lord you did so we are sickness is my brother we give you glory we give you praise your name is El Shaddai our whole sufficient God you are both and enough in our lives continue to manifest in our lives my brother you alone are worthy my redeemer yes. take all the glory take all the honor yes. in jesus name we pray and give thanks amen, amen.